Hey everybody, Inita here. If you're looking to have some popsicles or ice cream on a diet, then you are in the right place. Today I'm going to show you how to make quick and easy popsicles with almost no carbs and almost no calories whatsoever. A perfect treat to satisfy your sweet cravings on any diet. I understand how hard it can be to deal with sweet cravings when you switch to a ketogenic diet, low carb diet, calorie restriction in general or healthy eating. And that's why today I'm very excited to have this opportunity to teach you how to make these sweet and delicious popsicles that you can enjoy on your diet without any fear of gaining excess weight. Now, before we begin, make sure to subscribe and turn on notifications so that you will be the first one to know when I release another keto recipe video. With that out of the way, let's get cooking. Start with preparing the base mixture in a cooking pot. Add 800 grams of water and turn on the stove to bring it to boil. Meanwhile, prepare the dry ingredients. 1 cup erythritol, half a cup inulin, sweetener to taste. I'm using 2 tablespoons of my sweetener blend, which is 5 times as sweet as sugar. 2 teaspoons of xanthan gum up to 2 teaspoons of citric acid, depending on the sourness of the flavors you plan to make. Mix the dry ingredients very thoroughly. Now add the dry ingredients to the water. Mix well with an immersion blender until the solution is well mixed and has an even consistent texture. Now bring the mixture to boil. Let it boil for about 30 seconds, mixing it with a spatula to ensure it heats evenly. Turn off the stove and separate part of the mixture. In my case, I am separating three measures of about 350 grams each, which will be enough for three sets of six popsicles. Add food flavors and colors to taste and personal preference. These will also depend upon the brand you are using. For the ones I have, I use around 32 drops of flavor. Mix very well, ensure that the flavor and color is evenly distributed. Pour the mixture into popsicle molds. I use a small sauce pitcher here for convenience purposes. You can easily scale this recipe according to the amount you want to make and the size of your molds. Just divide it by multiples of 2 or multiply accordingly. Freeze the popsicles for about one day until they are evenly frozen all around with no soft spots. Now, when you want to enjoy your treat, depending on the mold you are using, you may find it's reluctant to come out of the mold. So just put it under hot water for several seconds. And now it will easily come out like so, so you can enjoy your treat. And that's it for this recipe. Now repeat the process for different flavors and tastes you want to make. You can add citric acid directly to the separated part of the mixture if you want to make both sweet and sour tastes in one batch. Just make sure to mix it very well so it dilutes evenly. You can use different popsicle molds, but I find these plastic ones from AliExpress to be the best here, since they are convenient to wash and the sticks are reusable, so you don't have to keep buying and throwing away wooden ones. And there you have it. Literally in several minutes you have an assortment of frozen treats ready to satisfy your sweet cravings. And what's best, has almost no carbs or no calories for that matter, so you can enjoy them without fear of gaining excess weight. Thank you very much for joining me today. I do regular cooking and eating streams on Twitch where I cook and eat tasty healthy food, so check that out. You can watch me live and have a chat with me there. Now before you go, make sure you're subscribed and have notifications turned on so that you will be the first one to know when I release another keto recipe video. If you want to see how tasty and delicious this dish really is, then be sure to watch my mukbang video down here, where it is featured in all its glory. Or alternatively, check out this playlist right here for more keto recipe videos that you will definitely enjoy. I love you all and see you all again real soon.